on Staten Island is recovering after being beaten on election night. The 17-year-old said four men screamed Obama at him before beating him with baseball bats. It happened not far from his home in Stapleton. Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Lead is in the neighborhood with more. Carolina? Sade, Ali Kamara says he was only a few houses away from home when it happened. He says the only warning he got from his attackers was the word Obama, but he says it was not enough warning for him to get away. The first swing, the, the swing, it, it hit my head. It cut my head. I got staples on my head now. Ali Kamara was on cloud nine election night. He just found out Barack Obama was elected president. The 17 year old was walking home around 11 Tuesday night from a friend's home when he says four white men jumped out of a gold car, kicked him and pounded him with baseball bats. Once they started beating me, I was running. They got back in the car, they started chasing me. And then when I got over here, they were still in the car. Mm -hmm. And then I hopped, up, I ran over here, hopped over the, the fence and I still there. Ali hid in a neighbor's backyard until the coast was clear. He frantically called his mother on his cell phone. I was crying. I like, oh God, I say, because of Obama, I lose the only child I have. Ali's mother left work and rushed to the emergency room. The Curtis High School student is in a lot of pain. He walks with a limp and has severe headaches because of a concussion from the beating. Our hate crimes task force is still interviewing uh, this young man and we're treating it as a possible bias crime. That's a category we use until we can make a more definitive determination. Ali is Muslim. His family moved to the Stapleton section of Staten Island from Liberia in 2000. Ali says his attackers only said Obama. He did not hear any other racial or religious slurs. Still, his mother believes this was without a doubt a hate crime. I figured that they wanted to kill my son, so I didn't need to pay for it. And tonight, a National Islamic Civil Rights Organization is calling for an FBI investigation. Police have not made any arrests. That's the very latest live in the Stapleton section of Staten Island. I'm Carolina Lead, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.